Hi folks, welcome to Set Apart Homestead. So today, you better get your tinfoil hats on because we're gonna go down the conspiracy theory rabbit hole. The thing is, is it's not so much conspiracy theory as con some, some conspiracy truths, uh, or mostly, or all. Uh, I guess it'll be up to you to def decide whether you believe it or not. I don't do a whole lot of real deep conspiracy theory stuff. Um, but this one uh, isn't, like I said, it's not so much theory uh, as to what's actually happening and what is, what is most likely going to happen. And I think it's something that uh, you folks need to talk, need to know about. Uh, it's not just, you know, homesteading stuff. It's not just prepping stuff, but it it's definitely can affect you. And it's 5G technology. It's something I haven't really talked about um, I don't think I've talked about it at all on the channel and And part of it is is because I've been learning about it myself, you know, I I have a ham radio license and um, I You know Know a little bit about radio technology because of that, but uh, this is on a whole different level. So it's uh, very much out of my uh, you know what I would consider comfortable knowing so I've been been doing a lot of research on it uh, just to, to learn about it and I'm going to assume that most of you probably know have heard of 5g technology uh, it's already being put into place in many big cities and are probably also uh, aware of the dangers due to radiation sickness uh, and potential cancer risks because of the high frequencies uh, that the uh, 5g towers are putting out that's not what I'm talking about today. Um, the 5G technology uh, is running anywhere between 30 and 300 gigahertz, uh, which are frequency bands that uh, we've never used for communication before. Um, it's it's you know very advanced new technology. Um, it seems no matter where I go and what time I shoot a video, there's always a plane flying over. Uh, but this technology, like I said, it's, it's quite advanced. Uh, and everyone's talking about the radiation that it puts out, which is true, uh, and the potential for cancer and radiation sickness. There have been reports already of birds flying uh, near these towers and falling out of the sky dead. Um, so that is a potential risk. But that's really, you know, an effect of the, of, the, of, the, of the technology. And what I want to talk about is, is what the technology is there for, what it can be used for, the potential risks of the technology itself, not the adverse effects of the technology. And <clears throat> one of the things that you have to understand about 5G technology is it's, it's military grade stuff. Um, this is not, uh, like past uh, wireless technologies that are developed solely in the private industry just for cellular communication. Uh, this stuff has been developed over the years in, on the military level um, and there is an amazing potential for what it can do. You know, we, they, we hear things about that it will be 10 to 20 times faster than your current 4G uh, wireless uh, technology. Uh, it'll be able to transfer a thousand times more data or up to a thousand times more data. Uh, you'll be able to download a high definition movie in just seconds, you know, all this kind of stuff. And of course, we are such a, a, a technology and internet connected society to where, you know, especially the younger uh, kids, you know, and I say kids, I mean, people in the 30s, 20s and 30s and the teens and stuff, they're so highly connected to that, that not having that in their life uh, <clears throat> would be detrimental to them, you know, at least they think it would, think that it would. And having more of it, being able to transfer more data, having more of it at their fingertips, uh, it's, it's become a, an umbilical cord, is what it is. And so it looks really great, you know, this, this technology is going to be, you know, so rapidly fast, able to handle much, much more data. Uh, so, so there's a lot of good being talked about it and and I guess you could make an argument that there could be some good things about it But here's some things that most people don't know about um, 
that the about the potential capabilities of this technology and the technology is, is built very much around nanotechnology uh, which is another thing that is above my uh, education level but I do know about it somewhat because of just my own personal research and nanotechnology uh, is microscopic it's 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 man-made uh, 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 Things and it could be very different things. I mean, I, I use the term things loosely. You know, they could, there's there's a potential even be able to build nanobots uh, in the future. Uh, we're talking, you know, very microscopic. You cannot see it with the human eye. Uh, these things are so small they could be airborne. They can be in your water, your food, in your body right now, and you wouldn't know it. Uh, so while there's all this talk about you know being injected with a RFID chip that looks like a grain of rice, um, that's kind of old school. This is the kind of stuff that you can be drinking it right now in your water and you don't even know that it's there. Eating it in your food and you don't know that it's there. Breathing it in the air that you breathe and you don't know that it's there and it's already in your body. 5G technology um, has the potential capability and, and let, me, let me preface this. <clears throat> we all know that the government always has more advanced technology than what we're aware of. It's, it's just, we know that. Um, so a lot of the things that are being talked about with the potential of 5G, some of it's saying that in the near future we could, be, we could get to this level. Well, we don't know for a fact that we're not already at this level. That, you know, it's a very potential, uh, you know, there's a big potential that the government may already have a lot of this technology uh, and they've just not let us know. Um, and I guess that kind of is the conspiracy theory part of this. So that, you know, we're not exactly sure what level of technology uh, exists uh, around this 5G technology, but there's there's nanobot uh, nanotechnology out there, and this stuff can be controlled or potentially be controlled through 5G. And the reason why 5G is so critical is because it's capable of handling the data. Um, there will be many more towers. You know, the plan is to put towers, you know, uh, and relay towers everywhere, so that pretty much, you know, it, it eventually. Uh, you, you know, you're not going to be able to go any place that it doesn't, you know, these, these radio waves aren't there. Um, where they could actually control. There's, there's the potential for technology that these, this nanotechnology could, could alter your DNA, uh, turn genes on and off inside your body, um, could cause illnesses, could cause you to have a heart attack. Uh, there's this, the technology, the wireless technology on its own um, that they're developing or have looked into developing that it's capable of, of altering your mood. Uh, and we know that through research that, that radio waves can alter your mood. Uh, it's one of those uh, less, le less lethal uh, type of weaponry that the military has been working on. And so with the 5G technology, it's very possible for to change your, your emotions. And, and think of that, think of that just for a moment, that alone. Um, what better weapon would there be? Um, you wouldn't have the, uh, the desires to resist, the desires to rebel, uh, the desires to seek the truth, um, because most all of that is based on your emotions. You know, your emotions uh, really do control a lot of your, your behavior. And so if they're able to put you in a depressive state to where you don't care, uh, what better way of controlling us uh, is there? You know, forget you know how many guns you have and what knowledge you have and, and where you live. If you if you don't care, if you, if your emotions are kicked turned off and you just don't care, then they've you know they, they're successful. Um, so that that is part of uh, what the potential is for this technology. Um, the the five G um, is is. Basically, the plan is, is for it to be everywhere, and they're already developing or looking into the potential of making 5G, uh, you know, from satellites to where it could just basically have a net over the entire planet. Um, and everyone, whether you want it or not, you're in 5G, you know, uh, radio waves. So there's, there's a lot of risk there that a lot of people don't know about. They're not really thinking about. Uh, there's so much focus on this, you know, the potential for radiation sickness from the towers emissions themselves that there's not been a whole lot of talk about what this technology is actually capable of. Um, and I think personally that's where it starts to get scary when you start looking into what this technology is capable of. Um, the, you know, the potential for 
you know, altering your genes, uh, you know, with nanotechnology that could be everywhere. I mean, you know, there it's, it, you know, for a while nanotechnology was one of those things that it was talked about as a possibility in the future. And then out of nowhere, it's like, oh yeah, well, nanotechnology does exist, you know. Um, how advanced is nanotechnology? I don't think anyone really knows yet uh, how advanced it is. But there is a potential there, uh, in, you know, especially in theory, that this technology could be, you know, reach a level of advancement uh, that it could be in our bodies, uh, in our food, in our water, in the air. And we don't even know it. And uh, someone sitting somewhere with a computer could actually be controlling people, uh, their thoughts, their body functions, their health, and everything through this te technology. Um, you know, I'm not on here saying that it exists now. Um, there are some that believe that it already exists, uh, but there is a lot of research showing there's patents, and that's the big thing. There's already patents, uh, if you go and, and do the research, that the, you know, the, the military, the U.S. government has already filed all these patents on this technology. Uh, so does that mean that they've already developed it or they're still in that developmental stage? And either way, it, it's, what it means is, is that it's, you know, it's probably close. If it's not already there, it's probably close. If they're filing patents on this stuff, um, then, you know, it's, it's probably, we're probably pretty close to it happening. Um, and, you know, when you sit back and start thinking about, it, it kind of makes the whole radiation thing kind of seem small and, and insignificant. Um, of, of the level that 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 it's able to control to manipulate um, and I think that's what we all know that the powers that be the oligarchy that control everything that's what they want uh, they want to be able to manip manipulate and control us um, and then that's their little fetish I guess it's not you know it's not about money because they already have all that you know all the all the you know wealth that exists they already have um, and they do have power. They pretty much already have power. They control everything, but they want to control us. Um, and, and that is, is, is their end goal, is, is really to control us. And what better way of doing that than through this technology that you and I don't even know that exists, that could already be in us, um, or very potentially would, would be in the future, to where they could control masses of people. And, and from my research, this technology is going to be so precise that you, know, you could type up, uh, on a screen, you know, bring up a certain individual and hone in on that person and, you know, give that person a, a heart attack, you know. So uh, that, that eliminates uh, all this difficulty of faking a suicide <laughs> by, you know, having to pay off guards and all this kind of stuff. You know, you just got to click a button and a click of a mouse or whatever technology they're using and the person just falls over dead with a heart attack and there's no way of knowing um, that it was anything other than just natural. Um, being able to manipulate, blah, blah, manipulate your mind, manipulate your thoughts, manipulate your emotions. Um, this is like serious stuff. This is really advanced and it's very, very, you know, kooky, crazy sounding. I get it. You know, when I start, first started, you know, looking into this, I'm like, man, this is like out there in, in, in the, you know, outfield. This is, this is just some crazy kooks and their mama's basement coming up with this stuff. But then you start looking, you start looking at the patents that are being filed already by the government. Um, you see that, you know, there, this isn't as crazy as it sounds. This is, this is much more legitimate. Now the thing is, is it's gonna be a lot of people, possibly even on this channel, it's like, yeah, well, th that's not what they're using it for. That's not what they would do with it. You know, they wouldn't do that. They don't have the time to do that. They don't care about us that much. My, my goodness, you know, come on. <clears throat> so really in the end, it's all about how much you trust your government. Uh, how much do you trust them? Uh, look around and look at you know history, even recent history in the last couple of decades of things that's been done that have been proven that's been done um, that uh, you know they've lied about and they you know the things that they, they've come out publicly years later and said yeah yeah we, we actually did do that we, we did do that uh, so how much do you trust them? And, and for me I can tell you the trust level is, is <laughs> pretty much non-existent um, so if we know that they're capable of doing the things that, the, that have happened in the past, that there's proof of, that they've even admitted to, then what are they capable of in the future as this technology becomes more and more advanced? Um, 
you know, there's there's many in the the scientific community that's that's praising this 5G technology. It's like the the next level of you know evolution of technology uh, because of its its capability, its potential, uh, the things that it could do. It could connect the entire globe. The whole globe will be connected under this you know one world uh, union of of, of connectability. Uh, we'll think about that. <laughs> you know, what what where where's the harm in that, right? Right? You know, the whole world is being connected. Someone could control that whole system. Um, you know, there, there, there's also this other thing. Um, many of you are familiar with cloud uh, technology, where you don't have your hard drive. You know, you don't store things so much on your hard drive anymore. You store it in a cloud that's on the internet. A lot of people use that for you know, pictures and stuff like that. Um, because of the capability of data transfer um, of five G. There will be a push, and there already is, to basically eliminate hard drives out of computers. Um, and so that everything that you own, all of your personal information, your financial information, records, histor historic information, anything that's yours, anything, any data that you have, will no longer be stored on a hard drive that you are in possession of. It will be stored on a cloud somewhere. Where is that? Nobody knows, but it's on a cloud somewhere. And they'll be able to turn that off. You know, the, the, how many times um, have you tried to log into an account, maybe an email or something, and you're using a different device, a different phone, or you've moved somewhere, so you're hitting different towers and different locations, and it's like, oh, you know, is this you? Uh, you know, you have to go through this security process to prove that you who you are, because you know something's different, and we don't recognize you. And uh, so, what if that happens, and all your information, anything to prove who you are? on this cloud that you now no longer have access to. Um, can you actually prove who you are at that point? You know, with everything going to electronic, and if it's all being held on a cloud somewhere, and then you're not able to actually access it because, you know, of a, a mistake, a malfunction, or someone, you know, purposely turns, turns it off, disconnects you from the system, you know, what happens then? And that's part of this 5G technology is a push to have everything on a cloud. So there'll be, you know, there'll be, you know, smaller computers, smarter, smaller, lighter phones. You know, they'll be able to increase the battery size because they won't have to have take up so much room for, for the, you know, the memory because everything will be on a cloud. Uh, and there'll be this big, you know, this is awesome. You know, this computers are lightweight and tiny, and and there's there's no need for microchip, you know, for for, for data storage chips and, and for hard drives and things like that because everything will be on a cloud, and you'll be able to access it real easy because the 5G technology is so fast and capable of transferring so much data. Except when someone wants to turn that off and disconnect you and unplug you from the system and then well do you exist anymore really i mean if if on paper you don't exist if uh, you know if all your documents say that you don't exist or you can't come up with them to prove who you are are you really who you are at that point uh so there is so much risk there um that a lot of people are just not talking about and this is something that i, I want you to think about i want you to get out there and do your research don't just believe me uh get out there and do the research you know I always encourage that don't just don't just take what i say at face value do your own research and look into this stuff. Uh, what's the way to, to, to protect yourself from it? You know, again, you probably in the end, the only way to really protect yourself from it is to get as far away from that technology as you can. And the only way to do that is to find remote areas to go live in. Uh, how, how, you know, easy is that for everyone? Well, there's a lot of people that's just not capable of doing that. If you are, then great. Uh, you're awesome and proud of you, but there's a lot of people that just aren't at that point in their life where they can go live remotely. And even then, that technology will most likely catch up with you. Um, so, you know, just, just be on your best, you know, guard as much as you can, prepare as much as you can, do the research, stay on top of this stuff. Um, you know, this could be um, much worse than, you know, some type of apocalyptic type event. This could be an apocalyptic event of this level of technology. Because uh, I assure you that if they're already at the, at the point that they are now of developing it and releasing it, they have a lot of other things already in place, already, you know, up to speed that we don't even know about. Uh, so uh, get out there and do some research on the other things, the, the, the capabilities of 5G technology. All right, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.